welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is grace and i've just started this youtube channel thank you guys so so much for 30 subscribers i honestly kind of can't believe it like what but today's video is going to be story time so i'm going to do my story time on my last couple of days of high school and how i had to leave high school around three months early which was very sad and i'm also going to talk about my results day and how everything so far has panned itself out so without further ado let's get started so for any of you guys that didn't know i'm 16 and i left high school in march and i started college or sixth form whatever you want to call it um september just gone so i've had six months basically six months doing absolutely nothing but the week before we finished school so we actually finished school on the 20th of march and that week beforehand we did our last set of mocks uh, before our actual gcse's so everybody was stressed we were all like oh my gosh oh my gosh coronavirus and then all the teachers were like oh you'll be fine you'll be absolutely fine we'll get all the units finished if boris johnson closes schools then you'll have everything finished you'll just have to revise so all of the teachers were like nope you'll still sit your exams you'll still do your exams and we were all like how how is this possible how can we possibly do our exams so i was supposed to have my drama practical exam on wednesday the 18th of all march however that got cancelled the day before on the tuesday so we were all pretty bummed about that because we'd put so much work into it we'd stayed so long after school rehearsing our scripts because it was our scripted performance so we were all pretty you know annoyed um and then on the Wednesday when our exam should have been that night we all went home and I was actually at dancing I was in a tap class and my dance teacher went schools are closing from Friday and there was probably about four of us in the class that were meant to be sitting in our GCSEs and we all looked at each other and all of us literally looked like we were about to cry because she never said anything about exams being cancelled she literally just said schools are closed the car and my mum was like have you heard and i was like yeah schools are shut i was about to cry and i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do like what we're we gonna do she was like the exams have been cancelled and i was like what <laughs> and she was like your exams have been cancelled and i was like oh thank god for that and she was like, what, are you happy about that? I was like, well, I'd rather them be cancelled than them be going ahead and not being in school. So that was quite a relief, to be honest, for me. And I did think after it, it all sunk in a bit, I was like, I could, I don't know what grades I'm going to get. Like, nobody knew what grades they were going to get. We were, the grades were meant to go through the algorithm and then the algorithm got shunted off like they were like no you're not getting the algorithm you're getting your teacher predicted grades so it was all very confusing but anyways so on the shoot Wednesday we found out that exams had been cancelled which was good bad but I don't really know I still don't really know how I feel about it to be honest and then on the Thursday morning I was scheduled for one of my MRI scans which is another stress so I was already stressed about that I was stressed about mocks I was stressed about my drama performance I was stressed that schools were going to be closing I was stressed about my GCSEs and I usually I get stressed when I have to go to the hospital if you want a story tell about my MRI scan in the hospital sure go ahead comment down below and I'll do an, a start, another story time on it. But basically, I was scheduled for an MRI scan and I usually don't mind going, like, I get the morning off school or the afternoon off school and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I miss this lesson, this lesson and this lesson. And I, was, I usually just got excited on, like, 
what lessons I missed and stuff like that. That was like the one time I didn't want to go to the hospital. I was like, mum, I just don't want to go. And she was like, but we have to go. I was like, but I don't want to go. I've only got two days left of school. So that day was eventful. That hospital trip was very eventful. Very eventful. Basically, I had an allergic reaction to spray that they used on my arm. So I got back to school at 12.15. The, there were so many things that just went wrong with that scan, like so many things. I was in the scan for two hours. Um, so I didn't get back to school till 12.15 and as I was on my way to my lesson, because I had like five minutes lesson left, so I was trying to dawdle because I didn't really want to walk into the lesson whilst everyone was just packing up. So I wasted as much time as I could. Our school, you went to the main office when you checked in late and you walked down the humanities corridor. So as I was walking down the humanities corridor, my history teacher had her door open and she saw me walk past and she was like, Grace. So I went, she came out and I was like, oh, the hospital, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, oh my gosh, no. So I was still talking to her for about three minutes because she did have a class, oops. And then as I was walking through, my drama teacher, was our assistant head i think she still is and she was in her office so i knocked on because she keeps up to date with my hospital appointments and i was like i've just got back and she's like oh really how did it go i was like well i had an allergic reaction and she's like what i was like i had an allergic reaction to a spray they used and she's like what you shouldn't be in school i was like oh no i'm fine my arm's just a bit numb and she was like you shouldn't be in school Grace and I was like no I'm fine I'm fine so then basically she ended I went to my lessons like the last two minutes and she ended up ringing my mum's school because my mum works in school and she was like Grace is in school and my mum was like yeah and she was like she's had an allergic reaction and she was like yeah I know her arm was just a bit cold <sighs> so she was like is she okay to stay in school? She's like, yeah, she's fine. Like, she's fine. So then I had my lunch time wandering around with my drama teacher because she wanted me to uh, go home. And I was like, no, honestly, I'm fine. And then she was like, have you had your lunch? I was like, no. She's like, do you need to go and buy it? I was like, no. She's like, okay, what have you got? I was like, I'm McDonald's. <laughs> because there was no food left in the shops. And my mum works in a school and my dad works from 6 a.m. till 5 p.m. So there's nothing in the shops for us to go and buy like no one can could get food because the shelves were empty and she was like oh right okay I was like it's because our house is empty of food there's no food for us to buy and she's like okay and I was like <laughs> she was laughing basically I was like can I go and prefect now because I was a prefect in our PE block so I went and started prefecting well didn't start but went and sat with my friends and then I went to my PE teacher because I was meant to finish my coursework that morning because the people that marked our coursework still wanted it to be submitted and mine wasn't quite finished. So I was like, so what do I need to do? And then I told her about my arm and my scan because she also kept up to date because it's like to do with my legs. It really would make sense for me to do a story time on this. So I think that's just what I'm gonna do. Um, and then she was like, oh, I've got some hand warmers. Do you want some hand warmers? Because at that point, my hand was literally blue and I was just trying to warm it up. And she was like, here, I have these hand warmers. And I was like, thank you. So I kept these hand warmers on me for the rest of the day and they kept my hand warm. And when I took them off for like 60 seconds, it'd go back blue again. So then on the Friday, that next day we weren't allowed to sign shirts or anything because there were so many people missing I don't think they wanted them to miss out even though it meant that we missed out and you're like we'll do it you'll be able to sign shirts we'll get a day where you can all come in because everyone expected Covid to be done within a month like we were all like oh we'll be fine in a month everyone will be back to schools we'll do prom blah blah blah, blah. nope however many months later, eight months later, and it's still here. So 
after that happened. And then basically we said our goodbyes to everyone. I cried for like, it sunk in for me at about five to three that I was actually leaving. And then I didn't stop crying. So all my leaving school photos are of me crying and I don't look the greatest. So then we left school and then we went into lockdown, national lockdown on the Monday. Obviously we didn't get a prom and then it got to results day. So in my GCSEs, I was predicted grade sevens and eights. So results day came, I was very, I wouldn't exactly say I was worried. I mean, I was worried to a certain degree, but I wasn't at the same time. Um, I was quite excited to be honest if that's even how you can describe it I was just intrigued as to what my teachers thought grade wise I was going to get um so grade wise I was happy with all my grades like I was so happy when I opened the email because we weren't allowed to go to school my cousin same age as me and his school they were allowed to go into school to collect the results they had to social distance though i think they had to wear a mask and they just had like set times that they could go so i don't really know why our school couldn't do that when they were bringing in a thousand students two weeks later i was so happy with my results like over the moon and then about 20 minutes later you got all the posts on Facebook, all the posts on Instagram, all the posts on Snapchat. People in my year group that I know were posting pictures of the results and yeah, I get it, celebrate your results, but it's kind of, number one, it's annoying having to just scroll through your Facebook feed and it just be pictures of people's results. But it's, I get it, yeah, celebrate your results, but at the same time, I was kind of, it made me feel question my results I was kind of a bit about that but overall when I opened my results I was over the moon the only grade that was a bit like mm, maybe I think I probably could have done better is drama in drama I got a grade seven but personally I think I could have got the eight in my November mock I got a grade four in drama some people that might be good but for me, that wasn't good at all. Not that I'm trying to make excuses, but my excuse for that is that I was at a hospital appointment when my class did like the 20 mark question and the 12 mark, yeah, the 20 mark and the 12 mark as a hospital appointment. <laughs> so I missed out on that. So I didn't get the marks because I didn't know what I was doing. So because I hadn't learned the question i couldn't answer it to my full ability uh so like i said i only got a grade four i started the card with those questions and understand those questions um then i probably would have got a grade eight in drama if i'd have sat the exam but i can't complain i still got a grade seven which is the equivalent to an a which is amazing i was so happy with so now i'm gonna say like the other results that I got. The GCSEs I got a seven in was English literature, English language, maths, and then two grade sevens for science. So that's biology, chemistry, and physics. But I only did, um, I did trilogy science instead of separate sciences. So I only got two GCSEs for that. I got a seven in drama, a seven in history, and a seven in PE. And I think that's it. And then obviously RE, I got six. So then the day after I went to enrol at my current college, I'm really enjoying. And then as for prom, we obviously didn't get a prom. Our prom was res rescheduled to November and we haven't heard anything, but now obviously we're in a...
Now we're in a country lockdown. I can't think what the word is. I've already used it before, but I can't think what it's called. A general lockdown, like the whole country's in lockdown. So that is not going to happen. We are not going to get a prom. So my mum and my best friend, Molly, her mum organised for us to borrow a flower wall off one of my auntie's best friends. And the flower wall was absolutely gorgeous. Like it's stunning. If you would like to come see the flower wall, then go and check my Instagram account out. There are pictures on there. Um, but yeah, so we put our dresses on, we did our makeup and hair, and we took some pictures, we did a lot of TikToks. <laughs> And it was just a nice night, like we got to wear our dresses that we've paid a lot of money for that are non-refundable, can't go back. My dress came from New York and Molly's dress came from Florida. Yeah, Florida. They went on holiday to America and they carried her dress back home. Now, Alex Perry, that's who my dress was by. Um, and yeah, we just had a really, really nice night. So that is it, that is my story time on leaving school, quite sad I know, uh, we missed, have missed out on a lot, like we have missed out on so 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 much at the end of the day, we've missed out on prom, we missed out on a proper end of the year, not, I've got four signatures on my shirt because I didn't take an extra shirt because we weren't meant to. Now at college and probably never going to go back to my high school. Like ever. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again for 30 subscribers. I still am baffled. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you haven't already then please do subscribe if you do not want to miss another video like this. And comment down below any videos that you would like me to do, any story times you would like me to do. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mwah.